Good morning, it's Courtney, and I am back with another video, uh, after I raged the fuck out last night, because, you know, was just in the middle of saying, oh, well, maybe today I'll, you know, actually be able to, uh, get a video in, because, you know, I deleted a bunch of stuff, but I forgot to delete the first video that I did where I got cut off, so... I thought I had like 15 minutes more than what I actually did. So, let's try not to get cut the fuck off this morning. Don't want to be the cutoff queen today. Or I will rage out and probably break my phone. And then you guys really won't see me around. So, let's try to avoid that at all costs. Um, so, I can't really remember exactly what I got to talk about last night and what got cut off. A couple of people asked me in my comment section, um, do you realize when you get cut off or do you just keep talking and then eventually realize, uh, when you try to end the video or like, how does that happen? So like last night I realized that it cut off because it'll go beep whenever it's, when it stops recording. Sorry, I had to take off my shoes there. My feet were getting hot. Um, so sometimes I realize whenever it cuts off because it does beep. Uh, but other times I have my volume turned down because whenever, um, you hit the back button, it'll beep like that if you have the volume turned up. So sometimes I have the volume turned down, so it doesn't let me know. Um, so I just talk and talk and talk and talk, and then whenever I go to stop the video on my own, I realize that it says zero, zero, zero. So, I'm like, don't even know where it stopped. Um, like, I had to delete that video of me talking, well, my shoe video that I still haven't got to record again. Um, I had to delete that because, like I said, I didn't realize that it was, like, ten minutes of me complaining about shit and then, like, showing two or three pairs of my hundred pairs of shoes. So it wasn't even really a shoe video, uh, at that point, so I had to delete it. Um, so yeah, stuff like that happens sometimes, and then sometimes I realize and I can just, you know, stop it and start again. But last night, I definitely, like, I just got done saying that, and it happened again. So it was just, like, instant rage just filled my body. Um, so I had to take a little break. Um, decided not to film the rest of it. I was like, I'll do it tomorrow, because if I try again tonight, and, you know, it, I get cut off again, I'm going to break my phone. So let's just, let's just relax for the night. Um, but yeah, so I can't even really remember what I was talking about. Um, I do believe that I was talking about, um, how Patience went to her grandma's house for the first time last night, and, uh, she, or this weekend, I mean, last weekend now, but, um, uh, apparently she didn't listen, and she didn't want to be there, and they had no internet, so she was, you know, not happy about that, of course. Um, so yeah, it, it she just didn't want to go there. Oh, and she came home with a ton of flea bites all over her. Um, and she smelled horrible. But we have to send her there every other weekend. Like, we don't have a choice. It's court-ordered. Um, the judge kind of suggested once every other weekend. Um, and patients just kind of went along with it and was like, yeah, that'd be fine. But now that we're having to put it into action, she doesn't want to go up there like it's just always something like she was up there and she wanted her sister to play minecraft with her because they didn't have any internet and her sister not only wouldn't play minecraft with her but wouldn't let her use the disc either so that she could play minecraft so it's just that's why she acts the way she does up there because they just like do some you know jackass things um but i don't know there's a, there's there, there's something that I really like to talk about, but I'm not going to because it's personal, and I don't want to spread other people's business. But um, I will just say that I just love it when other people talk about your parenting skills and don't don't even know you, never even met you, but they assume that you're a bad parent because somebody said so because they don't like you, um, and then it comes out that they've done something very horrible. That just puts the cherry right on top where you're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Have you guys ever had that happen to you? Like, somebody talks shit on you and, like, projects, basically, talks about how bad of a person you are and this and that, 
and they do the exact thing that they accuse you of doing, and you don't even do that thing, like, I think that happens more than what we even realize, like, people will project their issues onto you, or you do do the same things, and you are guilty of it, but they also are guilty of the exact things that they hate in you, so they, like, see things that they hate about themselves in somebody else, and they'll call it out in somebody else, but they won't. They know that they do it, but they won't admit that they do it. They'll just cuss about the other person doing it. Like, that's so frustrating to me. But anyways, get on a different subject, because... Hmm. So, um... What else is I going to talk about? Oh, so... <laughs> last week, I was telling you guys all about um, Autumn's first day of kindergarten, right? And right after I f filmed that video and posted it, I got a call from her school. And, well, I didn't know it was her school, um, but then I got a text message saying that it was her school and to call back. So, uh, I called and I'm like, is everything okay? And they were like, yeah, everything's fine. We just realized that she's not supposed to be in kindergarten, she's supposed to be in pre-K. And I'm like, okay, how, like, why is that? And she was like, because, uh, if your child wasn't born before, or was born before June, then they would be in kindergarten this year. But if they're born after June, then they're in pre-K this year. And she was born at the end of July, like way end of July, so she, um, went to pre-K today, but that is a good thing, because I thought she missed school already last week, because, remember, my mother-in-law got confused and thought the 25th was the fir their first day, but for kindergartners, it was actually last Tuesday, so she missed, we thought she missed two days already, but it ends up she actually got an extra day in, instead of actually missing a day, so that's good. Um, I didn't want her to already have on her, you know, record or whatever that she had missed a day. That'd be wonderful. Um, so yeah, there's that. Oh, hold on. I want to show you guys something. Did I bring it back here? Oh, yes, I did. So, Patience was complaining about how, um, boring her, uh, binders looked. And, um, I was like, okay, well, do you want me to make you something to put in there so that it's not so boring looking? And she was like, yeah, sure. So, this is the first one I've done. This took me literally, like, four hours. So, I'm, like, actually pretty proud of it. Uh, and I did it all in gel pen. So, it's not marker where it covers a good amount in, in with each stroke. No, I did it with gel pens. Like, this is literally all gel pen. You can tell by the glitter in it, I think. Not all of it's glittery, but I tried to do, like, a good mixture of glitter and regular colors. So, that it doesn't look, like, too glittery. But I think that her, um, folder's gonna look not plain. I mean, my god, this is like the least plain thing you could ever see. I think it looks pretty cool, and, uh, you know, I actually really enjoyed doing it. Um, I'm finally getting out of where I have no enjoyment in things anymore. Um, you guys know how that is. Anybody that has, suffers with depression, you know how it is when you just get no enjoyment out of anything anymore. It sucks. Um, I'm finally getting to the point now where I'm actually enjoying things again. Um, I loved coloring that. Like, I started it and I just couldn't stop. Like, I had to finish it. And I finished it in about, well, it's probably about, probably about three hours, to be honest. But still, I, I took a lot of time on this thing and pretty proud of it. Um, yeah. It's got something yellow on the edge, but oh well. I don't think anybody will notice it. But yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and I enjoyed it. And she loves it. So now I just got to get her a new binder to put in, put it in because she ripped the plastic covering off her other binder, so you can't put anything down inside of it. So she needs like four of them, dude. Okay. So for you guys out there that your kids are in middle school or whatever, or even, well, no, because listen to this. I got all of Autumn's stuff, right, for kindergarten, and, um, when I went and signed her up, I was like, do you have a list so that if I missed anything, because I got crayons, colored pencils, markers, glue sticks, scissors, that, the, the normal stuff for, you know, little kids, um, I was like, it, you know, do you have a list so that if I miss anything, I can go ahead and grab it? And she's like, oh no, we don't require, um, any, anything for kindergarten, or for the elementary school. We give them everything that they need. She was like, if you want to donate something, you can, but it's not required. I was like, oh my god, I, you know what I mean? That's like, that's really cool. Um, but then, 
on the other hand, I spent almost $350 on school clothes and stuff that patients needed for school, okay? And now, hold on, I want to show you guys. I, I want to show you this. Okay, so I can't find the list, but luckily I took a screenshot of it to send to my mother-in-law, or my stepmom. But anyway, so this is just for math. Uh, she needs another spiral notebook for her notes and stuff, which she's already got that, luckily. We've got like 10 notebooks, but she needs, she's going to have to use every single one of them. And she has to have a spiral notebook for, she has to have nine just for freaking science. Nine notebooks just for science. Pencil, she has that pocket folder. I don't know what a pocket folder is. Does anybody know what a pocket folder is? Uh, highlighter, she has that. Uh, and she needs a two-inch binder. So, all you need from there is a two-inch binder, luckily. But this list is ridiculous. And this is just for the month of August. Okay, let me find it. Because I sent it to... I've never heard of anything like this. Whenever I was in school, my mom had to spend about $100, if that. Probably, actually, probably about $50. Um, so she needs 6 to 12 glue sticks. Pencil, she has that. Uh, rolled index cards. Scissors, she has that. Colored pencils and gel pens. Wooden ruler. One pack of, one large pack of highlighters. Ziploc sandwich baggies. Box of food coloring, 35-page notebook, one for each term, which there's nine of them, Clorox wipes, tissues, um, and that's not just like you can donate these things. No, you have to have these things. Uh, and then lab materials just for August, clear plastic cups, uh, one 16-ounce bottle of water, 2.17-ounce package of Skittles, 12 full ounce carbonated soda, so a 12 pack of soda, um, what else, uh, where'd the rest of it go, I didn't get, uh, I didn't get the other side, cause it was double sided of stuff, shit, now I need to know, hopefully it's in her backpack, um, but yeah, so that's just, half of the page like there's another page of shit that she needs um plus they sent home a form for her just to use one of their tablets at school they want 50 dollars for that um and then they uh sent picture day stuff for forms home already and she had to have that by friday um so i had to call and be like we just spent literally like $500 on all this shit. Like, I don't have, you know, I was like, can I send it on Monday? Because I just, I honestly just forgot. But, um, you know, still like, Jesus, like, I don't know how I asked her. I'm like, what, what are the kids that are living in the Bartlett house? The Bartlett house is the, um, homeless facility that, right out here. Uh, I was like, what are the, the kids in the Bartlett house, what, how are their parents supposed to get all this stuff? And she was like, there's nobody that lives in, in, the, in uh, the homeless place that goes to my school. And I was like, patience, you are very confused about the world if you think that nobody lives at that homeless shelter. You are very mistaken because it can happen in a moment's instance that we could be, you know, in the homeless shelter. Our house could burn down, you know, things happen to everybody in life. And just because somebody lives in the homeless shelter doesn't mean that they're a bad person or anything. It just means they're having a rough time. And you would be surprised how many kids live there, you know. And they would all go to her school because they, it's really close to me. Um, so what do those kids do? You know, it, it, right at the beginning of the year. And they wanted all this by Friday. So I got her school and I was like... We're gonna have to wait, you know, my husband gets paid on Friday, so, we, and we just spent, like, well, it was close to $400, and we still have the picture stuff, the, um, stuff on that list, this math list stuff, she has an English list, um, and I think she has everything she needs for social studies, but, like, 
I don't remember whenever I was a kid getting a list of things that you need in general for school and then each class giving you an, a, another list of shit that you need to get. I don't remember that. Um, so yeah, it's going to end up costing us like $600 altogether this year for her school stuff because plus she has to have um, another pair of shoes for gym. Um, well, we, just, we bought her the gym shoes, her regular shoes. Um, we have to order now. So, it's just, oh my god, dude. Like, it just never stopped. Like, the last week, it has just not stopped with, I need this, I need that, I need this, I need that. So, it, it's been very, very frustrating. Um, where's, I just got a message, but I don't know where it's at. It's my husband, I'm sure. Um, yeah, so... Uh, hold on, let me message him back and then I'll... Alright, I had to write a little bit of a, a long sentence. Um, so listen to this too. I'm starting to get hot. Listen guys. It's starting to feel a lot like autumn. Everywhere you go. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but um, it's a little windy today and it's a little chilly and I just love it. I love this time of year. Um, I named my child after it, so obviously I like it. Um, but anyways, so I get my mother-in-law picked me up today um, to take Autumn to school again because obviously uh, this is her first day of pre-K, so... We took her for her first day at kindergarten because it was her first day at kindergarten. Well, now we found out she's not in kindergarten. She's in pre-K, so I wanted to take her for, to her first day of pre-K, too, just just to make sure everything went okay. I went in the office and asked them because apparently you have to have, like, a they send you a picture of your child home in their backpack, and you have to have it every day to show the bus driver to make sure that you're the person that's supposed to be picking them up. So today I have to show ID to get her off the bus, and then after today she'll have that picture and can't can lose that thing so anyways um but my mother-in-law was like oh well there's a shirt for you in the back seat that um my boyfriend got from work and I was like oh okay cool so these were in the back seat for us they're they're um oh my god what's it called um oh my god what is that brand called the, like, really soft, like, airy, you know what I'm talking about, um, Under Armour, it's like Under Armour, it's dry fit, but it's Under Armour material, and West Virginia football, and he got two for me, two for, uh, patients, and two for Mike, because they threw them away, they were gonna throw these away. These are, like, really nice shirts. Like, oh my god. So comfortable. Um, and they were gonna throw the shit away. Uh, he works... He, he works, uh, around the, the football people. I'll just say that. Um, and they throw stuff away like that all the time. And you're not really supposed to take the stuff, but, I mean... Like, I, th I would rather either donate the stuff or let somebody take it than to just throw it in the trash. He said that um, they get catered food all the time, and when he goes in, there will be like five or six lawn and garden bags of just stuff that they didn't eat and just threw away. Because the university doesn't let them donate the rest of it or whatever. Like, if somebody would load up all those leftovers that, like, weren't touched and took it to the Bartlett house or wherever, those people would appreciate that so much, but they throw the shit in the trash. And, like, I know I know how they are because I worked at the university, too. I uh, used to work at the Health Science Center um, for, like, four years. And they do. They just throw out so much shit that you're like, why are they... But you're not supposed to take it. Um, back whenever I worked there, they didn't really give a shit. Um, people stole supplies all the time um I never did because I you know I just didn't really need anything from well I'm really not into stealing anyways but I didn't need any of the stuff so why would I take it if I didn't need it every now and then I would take like a roll of paper towels home but 
like, the small ones, the ones that I was taking out of the, um, the paper towel dispensers that were almost empty, so I would fill it with a, a full one, and then the ones that were, you know, only that big, I would take that home, um, but that's about the only time I ever, like, took anything home, but they didn't care, um, but now apparently they cracked down on it, and, uh, they fired a guy that I worked with on midnight shift there for it, and so he threw a big stink about another guy doing it, and he had worked there for like 30 years, was it was the, the